What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. You can see the C8 behind me, which means, again, we're doing another mod. Today we're gonna change something on the front end and back by the engine bay that is guaranteed to change your life. So, you guys know the radiators on the C8 get banged up a lot. I actually had this same part on my C8 Corvette to prevent the radiator damage, but they have been updated since then. Let's go over all the differences and let's talk about what we're gonna be doing in the rear engine bay area where we're gonna really help dress that thing up. Like I said, we're always gonna have a C8 on the channel, whether it's mine or not. This is just another one. So let's jump into it right now. All right, guys. So like I said in the beginning there, we are here again with Jake's vet it's the base c8 corvette so non z51 non mag ride literally the base with a high wing what was the the total you paid for this car 63,450. okay so sixty three thousand, we'll call it uh this gets you a c8 corvette with all the same engine the same drivetrain components all the good stuff you just miss out on some of the the creature comforts but honestly it's a cool spec and jake is loving the car but one of the things that I let him know pretty early on is that he's gonna wanna get some radiator grill guards. And you guys can see the radiators are already getting a little bit beat up, nothing too crazy yet, but he does only have about 2,400 miles on the car. So you could save yourself all of this damage with these radiator grill guards. Now, you guys, if you remember my C8 Corvette, it was obviously the, the satin red one, but I did have the radiator grill guards on there as well. And they saved a bunch of damage like this, especially on my cross country trips to the Keys and back to Pennsylvania. That was a lot of mileage and they stayed on there. They would look great. That's another thing with these things. It's weird. It's kind of a side effect. They actually look good. There's something about, it, it helps black out this area here where the radiators are a little bit like silver. It helps make them look a little bit darker. So it looks good and it functions. I love that kind of stuff. So guys, we're gonna jump into this install right now. As we begin here, we're gonna kind of do a little bit of an unboxing. So I don't know if I said yet, but these radiator grill guards are made by c8vetpartsonline.com. They are just basically double-sided taped on the outside. So they're not zip tied from the inside like most of them. These ones are a little bit higher quality as well. They're all made out of aluminum and they've got like a honeycomb kind of thing to them so like i said it's going to be pretty easy to install these ones are slightly updated from the ones i had though because you can see right there that cutout will actually allow you to still use the front frunk button whereas the one i had was one of the original versions it covered that up it did not let you use that so he's going to get a little bit of a better install than the one that i had but nonetheless let's go ahead and unbox this stuff and get into the install so one thing i wanted to note real quick here guys is this is the radiator grill guard and it's all metal it's uh, powder coated black of course but what's interesting to me is that it actually matches the factory honeycomb uh, heat release channel in the back hatch area here it's pretty cool so if i didn't know any better i'd say that these were a factory part i love that kind of stuff guys the attention to detail with this is huge now c8 vet parts online is actually the same company that is going to be helping us with some engine dress up here in a second we'll talk more about that after we get these installed one more thing i want to mention real quick guys before we get into this is that these things are all labeled so you'll know passenger side driver side you'll know what goes where just in case it wasn't obvious it will be now with all the appropriate markings huge thank you to c8 vet ports online i deal with rich over there he's a super nice guy so if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out to them i will put all of the information down in the description below if you're interested in buying this or the upcoming engine dress up part that we're going to talk about after we get this installed we're ready so the first thing is going to be we're going to take those alcohol wipes that come with the package of course we're going to wipe down the entire area of the radiator bezel so anything that the the actual tape is going to stick to you want to make sure it's wiped down with alcohol now this is something i didn't really touch on too much in my video but the, the guy rich over at c8 vet parts actually includes this thing at first glance you're thinking what the heck is this it's just a piece of plastic but it actually has a real sharp tip on it uh, i'm trying to get the focus focus there it is real sharp tip and all this is for is to remove the protective layer from the double-sided tape on those i love it i love it the, the attention to detail with this kind of stuff is absolutely nuts and what Justin was saying also is nice is that you have color printed instructions. Nowadays, to have nice clear instructions, very helpful. Yep. When he's just literally wiping these down with rubbing alcohol to make sure there's no grease, no dead bugs, nothing like that that's going to interfere with the double sided tape and its ability to stick. Now, next up here is going to be Jake's going to go ahead and actually remove the protective layer off that tape, and he's going to find out real quick why that little plastic sharp tool is a lifesaver because 
getting that tape off there is really freaking difficult. <laughs> Feed it in at the bottom first. And then you line it up actually with the, you line it up with these marks. Here. Yeah. Wow, that fits really well. And the best part is with these things is that it is held on with double-sided tape. Now this is the VHB or Very Heavy Bond 3M clear tape. So it's clear and it sticks. Trust me, I had them on my car for about 5,000 miles and they did not move at all. Now Jake just put it on that simple, that, that quick, it's done. It is in place, it is stuck. Now they do recommend you press and hold on them for like 10 seconds or something to kind of fully seat it, but it's ready to go at this point. So from here, we'll do the top part, which of course is right where the frunk button is at. And then we'll jump over to the passenger side. Then we're gonna show you the, the awesome stuff that goes in the engine bay. But guys, this is super easy, super high quality stuff. C8 Vet Parts Online, they make some awesome products. And like I said, they're the ones that are also making the engine dress up stuff. So you can expect the same kind of quality there. We're gonna do basically the same thing up on the top. I don't think I'm gonna show you the passenger side install because it's more of exactly the same. So just wipe down the area there and then, yep. Open up the one that's marked driver. I really wanted to film this stuff, guys, because of the way that it ends up protecting this car. Uh, like I said, Jake's car has 2,400 miles on it. The radiators are already starting to get hit with some rocks. Nothing crazy, but you never know. It's, it only takes one rock to fully puncture one of those radiators, and this will stop it. This is something that GM has kind of recognized as an issue. If you guys have seen with the new 2023 CH, you can actually pre-order them with these kind of things already installed. So here we go with the top part. Same kind of thing. Start with the bottom. Slide the top in. Just like that. And you can still hit that trunk, that front button, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, so there's a little cutout there for it, guys. So that was one of my complaints with the, the original set that I had. You lost the ability to use that front button. Even with that said though, I chose the protection over the convenience, I guess. So you can kind of see the difference already. The driver's side one is a little darker looking, whereas the passenger one still has like that that silver-esque radiator look. We're gonna take a closer look once we get the car down off of the ramps, but yeah, there's something about it. It actually adds some visible coolness to the car. It's, it's weird. All right, guys, we are at the back of the car now. We're gonna go ahead and install the pieces that will dress up the engine from our friends over at the C8 Vet Parts Online. Let's take a look at what we're doing here. We got the box here and uh, Jake's gonna do the honors. He's gonna start pulling these things out and they are packaged really nicely, so. There's really no risk of these things being damaged in shipping. Again, big thank you to C8 Vet Parts Online. He hooked us up and these things are freaking awesome. Now, as you can see here, Jake does not have the engine appearance package on his C8 Corvette. This is gonna kind of help fix that problem. There we go. Now, once again, these still have that hexagonal pattern to them where it will match some of the stock stuff. So yeah, that looks like a nice piece. Yeah, very nice guys. So if we take it all out on the other side here again, you can see same kind of hexagonal pattern as the stock pieces here. So this will look very stock-ish in the car, which is never a bad thing. So again, we got some color instructions. Very cool. All right, so simply remove two T40 torque screws on each left and right side. So super easy guys. T40 bit is what you're gonna need to remove these screws. And what it say, you only remove two of them? Yep. So okay, so the two in the middle right there. And right there, take those out, slide these on and put the screw back in. Super easy install. I really just wanna make you guys aware of the fact that these things exist more so than make this a how-to video. Jake is gonna show us how to put these in just cause he's doing it anyway. And then we're gonna show you the final product. So there's one out and two. Lines up really well. So the, the tab kind of slides into the side of the the fender there. Can you point out it for me? So the tab is right here. And the easy way to tell is because of the dipstick. So you'll tell which side is driver and passenger because it's oh, a yeah. large hole in it. Yep. So that's it. Now he's just going to run the screws back home and call it a day. Got a pretty cool visible shot there of what's different. Definitely a little bit of a dress up. They're, they're looking pretty good. What do you think? Uh, they look really nice. They actually kind of close up those large gaps in there. Yep. And it, I'll be honest, it's kind of nice to even have a place to put things when you're working yeah, on your exactly. engine. So there you it's go. kind of nice to not worry about dropping your 10 millimeter somewhere down inside of there. So Yeah, so with the spec of this car, like I said, guys, I would go back through and maybe paint these these checkered marks here, maybe paint those white and leave the, the hexagonals black just to give some 
color to the engine bay. But honestly, no matter how you cut it, it looks pretty freaking good. All right, guys, that is going to wrap this video up. So today we got to install the C8 Vet Parts Online radiator grill guards and that engine dress up stuff from Rich over at the C8 Vet Parts Online. They actually look pretty good, but the big thing is they, they add that extra protection. So there's no chance you're going to damage your radiators and they're not going to get filled up with bugs. But guys, if you liked what you saw, please smash that thumbs up button. Let us know you're liking the content so him and I can get together and do this kind of stuff for you guys more often. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. We're going to do this stuff, hopefully a lot in the future, and we will catch you in the next upload.